right, check this out. This is up on Mars. It's this Curiosity rover. They drilled a hole down through this layered stuff trying to figure out what the heck is all these little layers. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see how many layers there is in here, but there is a ton, and there's a ton that you can't see. So we're going to go under the microscope right here towards the end. The microscope is going to be up above it there, and we're going to be looking down. And there it is right there in the microscope. Look at how many extra layers there is in there than you would suspect. Every one of these little white strips here. See, I'm gonna. I, this is hard to stabilize. I'm just. I'm not gonna point. I'm just gonna say. You see, every one of those little white strips. Every one of those is connective tissue. And then every now and then again, you're gonna see red blood. And you'll see other places will be black. Black blood. But this is is all connective tissue, all very, very, very fine layers. Very fine layers. Alright, and it gets thicker and thicker as it gets to the outside. There's like scales on the outside, see it? Now what this was, I'm not sure. But it's got all those layers just like that. And that, that's tissue from a living creature. I just showed you the blood in this one. Let's find another spot to find some nice good blood. Alright, now this is another one. It's, it's hard to keep this stable. But you can see blood in that little orifice there. And you see how many layers of tissue there is here? Very hard to see them, but every one of these little little tiny separations is another layer of tissue. When they show these huge big blocks of a hundred years, thousand years, ten thousand years, a million years, no, every one of those is a layer of tissue. You see it? Let me see if I can hold it solid. That's not too bad. But you can see how many layers of tissue there is there, and then now the, the red blood down here feeds them. That's probably about the best I'm going to be able to do. Alright, don't forget this is up on Mars. These are how many layers there are of tissue in that. And things are like that. That's just the way they are. Alright, what you need to do is get an anatomist, a biologist, a chemist, and everybody at the same place at the same time. This is a sarcomere right there. That's split and that's split. These are the little fibers that pull in the connective tissue and the stuff that's running out in between the connective tissue is this red erosive stuff and it's eroding right out it's all over the place okay where they drill the hole they drill the hole down in through sarcomeres which are they you saw these little breaks in there and then they erode the, the red stuff erodes out and only the connective tissue remains the connective tissue runs all the way across and the red stuff it just is very gooey and, and it just erodes away. And you can see it eroded away underneath and you can see all these different layers. That's muscle. You see that? The same thing. These are the sarcomeres. And, and this is in a mud fossil. And they're still in perfect condition because it was, it depends on where the thing was entombed and what kind of chemistry was there, how long it was in there, how it was soaked, if it got cleaned out afterwards, how it dried out. All of those things, very, very significant. All right, just so there's no mistake, this is what this, they look like. And then really homed in on it, you get to this spot. And then really, really homed in on it, you get to this spot, which is what I showed you, is these very, very fine fibers. And then the two stripes coming down the sides. That's what, what delineates the um, sarcomere. 
All right, I showed you what soccer mirrors are, and there they are right there. This is called the Mars Crab. <clears throat> Get a hold of NASA. This is from NASA. This is a Mars Crab. It's an artery and a vein. These are the blood vessels, and this is what that blood is servicing is these soccer mirrors, which also have eroded away, just like the other ones on Mars. This is the Mars Mars Code. It's literally sandblasted skin. Right below your skin is this layer that makes your skin come back to where it's supposed to be because of these balls. And the straps can stretch, but they will come back just like they do over here. This is gathered skin, gathered skin, stretched and stretched to where the straps have eroded away. The straps are not anywhere near as tough as the balls. The balls just never go bad. They're very, very tough. The straps obviously have to be flexible. Now let me show you what that looks like even here on Earth. Alright, these are the Mars blueberries. They're just eroded away just like the interstitial I just showed you a second ago. And they have these blueberries which are these, on Earth they're called Moki marbles. Let me show you. I know it seems spectacularly crazy but it is true. This is the interstitial like we saw up on Mars laying out as the Mars Morse code. This is the Mars blueberries here on Earth. It's called the Moki marbles. In us, it's this size, these marbles, this size right here. All right, and that is, this is tiny here, magnified up. That same spot is right here, and then we're starting to see the balls. And then you start to get into this actual tissue layers like this and you see these black balls here and there and all these strappy things which is that that is it right there that is it right there you see this that's what they call a the mucosa this is the collagen fibers this little brown thing is the springy one that you saw the strap that ran and the ball is is that those stone balls and here's the stone balls. Now this one here is over in the United Kingdom, Hunstanton Beach or Hunstanton Cliffs, something like that. That is the mucosa. This is the interstitium and it's eroding away and these are all the black balls that are holding it in position. And it was some creature's body at one time. I, I, I cannot account for this. I don't know what they ate. I don't know where they came from. I don't know what any more than I can show you, I am a material scientist. I show you materials. I say, this fits that, fits this, fits this. Everything makes sense. All the ancient texts say the same thing. Velikovsky did the research. I believe he was right basically about everything he said. He went to every culture on earth, and he was not a, a guesser. And I'm not either. All right, I have shown you how many layers there are in things, and that is a layer of tissue from a creature's body. That is the muscle area down in here where you're starting to get connective tissue and muscle there. Up here is all, is all membranes to keep things separated. I believe this right here is the interstitium where you find some balls. It almost looks like somewhere in this area. But you start out at the top with your skin, and that's where all of the red, uh, the green stuff is growing. It loves skin. And then right under the skin, you start to have all these layers and layers and layers and layers and layers. Now, this could have been a fingertip or a toe or something, because this almost looks like that grip skin that I was showing you, that friction skin, really heavy-duty stuff. And then under that, you get your, your, all of those little bumpy things that I showed you. And then below that, you start to get into your your basement layer, and then you start to get into your muscles and everything like that. I don't know what this is from, or even where it is, to be perfectly honest with you, but I can tell you, that was alive. And the caption on the picture, as I recall, said 150 million years in one picture. Well, I could see 150 minutes. That's just one creature. It died and, and was preserved in this manner. Everything else eroded.